Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, welcome. Thank you so much for joining in. My name is Natalia and I make videos all about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. And today, can you guess what kind of video we have? We have a fashion video and it is from the great old Walmart, the Walmart. I'm so excited, you guys, as I am with every single video, I say that all the time. I realize that I'm pretty annoyed when I say it, but I have waited so long to get these pieces from Walmart. I've been waiting till the best things are out and I feel like we're in the thick of it and these are the best items I could have got and I'm so excited because I really do think everything, each piece of course individually is either under 20 or $30. I really wanna say everything I found was under $20. I could be wrong, but I really do think so. Oh no, a jacket that I got is over $20. Everything is under $30 at least, which is still insane. You can get such cute, trendy fall winter pieces from Walmart go down the street you probably got one unless you're in the middle of nowhere but I am so excited to show you guys these pieces and I like this is just one of them I'm all fall back bobs I'm all fall bobs you guys it's not a video unless I can't speak right am I right <laughs> but this like lip is giving me fall vibes I walked out my husband's like that is very dark and I was like I'm here for it it's fall let me live my best fall basic life <laughs> so I want to show you guys all these pieces. Can you tell? I'm excited. I'm hyper. I'm ready. Also, I curled my hair and I didn't really like how it looked down, so I threw it up like back in a ponytail to cut some little pieces and curled them. And then I threw this little like hair scarf that I found at Goodwill, guys. I am a thrifting queen. I love going to Goodwill and finding good deals. As you can tell, all my videos are affordable clothing pieces, but I found this like forever ago and I never put it in my hair. And hi, how cute does it look? Also, would you guys like to see a Goodwill thrifting? haul and like shop with me and stuff like that i've said that i've wanted to do that before but i really want to do it especially now we're going to fall and winter i feel like i could find a good coat or things like that but anyways you guys my highlight is popping it's a good day it's friday i don't know where you guys are what day of the week it is i hope it's as great as a day as i'm having and if it's not watch and buy some of these clothes have a little shopping spree and make it a good day can you guys, okay, I, I'm just getting annoying. I'm annoying myself, I'm being obnoxious. Let's get into the video. <laughs> but before we do, don't mean to point at you, but don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I am Baby Bottles and Beauty on Instagram, you guys know. Love hanging out with y'all over there. I did like an Amazon try on, like a very first try on on Instagram and you guys loved it and I engaged with so many of you guys and you guys are the sweetest and the best. So. I'm gonna do this on Instagram as well. I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite pieces over there. So follow me on there for other try-ons, how I style these pieces and everything like that. It's a good time over there. So give me a follow. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you can see all the videos from me and turn on that post notification bell so you're the first to know when I upload a video. So without further ado, now we can get into the fall pieces. All right, so with a lot of the pieces, I want to start styling them for you guys to give you a full feel on what an outfit would look like with either piece that I'm showing you. So we're gonna start out with this outfit. Actually, let me bring you guys down a little bit. Okay, so I finally got a good tripod and I think this is going to be the perfect angle for you guys to see all of the outfit or the whole outfit. So I got these jeans. I talked about these in my other Walmart video. If you watched that, you already know these are these sculpted ankle jegging. I believe yes the sculpted jegging I got these in this dark wash they have them in a I think a light wash with some distressing not a video without the cat meowing and then um, in a black color hello and a tan color like a khaki pair of pants so I obviously picked them up in this dark wash because I want some dark wash jeans with no distressing for fall and winter can I help you Anyways, as I was saying, I want some jeans that are dark with no distressing in them for fall and winter when it is going to be colder. I don't want to be freezing my little knees off. So that is this pair of jeans. Y'all, we're just going to have to deal with her for right now. But these jeans fit me so good. Their sculpted jeggings fit me like a glove. I do size up to a 16 in this um, or in these jeans. I'm normally a 14 in jeans, but these jeans fit like a glove. Let me just show you what the back looks like here they fit perfect i feel like it just gives you that little like booty lift you know looks so good but i do have to cuff these jeans i always have to cuff my jeans though regardless of where i get them from just because they're always too long on me so yeah 
had to do that but that's okay they are a high rise so as you can tell my belly buttons like right here and they go quite above the belly button these are not functional pockets that is the only downside so next up in the outfit we do have this cute little plaid top I'll come up closer for you guys to see this one it does have the little ruffles on the sleeves and it is just a sleeveless shirt with those little ruffles on that um, and it is this really cute plaid pattern there is a button detail here these buttons are functional I just went ahead and buttoned it down a little bit so this is what the back looks like it continues with that little ruffle here on the back but um, you could do a little front tuck with this one give it a little more dimension you guys know I like the front tuck which I also discovered is called the French tuck so you could do a French tuck with it you guys I don't know what is wrong with me there's there's something there is something seriously wrong with me today I'm just like off the walls but um yeah so you could do that little thing to give it a little more shape um but yeah this one's really cute i feel like you could also tuck it in with high-waisted jeans and give a little more shape to your waist with like a cardigan too that would be cute next up we have these cute little peep toe heel booty things are these booties i don't know peep toe heels I don't know I think they're cute actually yeah they are booties because they're like this maybe I don't know these are so cute they're this like cognac color and they are like suede or microfiber whatever you want to call it and it has this like laser cut detail and this is what the side looks like it just has that stretchy part there and then the zipper on the inside with this nice block heel it says that this is memory foam these are extremely comfortable like I could walk all day in these I want to say I went up and down the stairs quite a few times and we're good these are slightly big on me like I said I'm usually a size 10 in my shoes and wide if I can get them in wide um, not all shoes but most shoes I want to buy in a wide so I have more space because sometimes a feet are just way too dang freaking fat for normal shoes but these are slightly big maybe it is because they came in a wide um, that they are just the slightest bit big here towards the end but I love them still I don't care if they're slightly big it's not like my foot is flopping out of them or anything but I would say if you're gonna get these in a wide and your foot isn't wide they're probably gonna be too big for you but if you have wide feet I'm telling you these are wide feet friendly and they do run slightly big so there's that all right so I went ahead and just left the whole outfit on and added this cardigan you guys it is so freaking cute I want to say out this whole video I'm sorry but everything is just adorable that I found it is this really cute cardigan that has these little details on it and it has bubble sleeves which I love which basically just means it's a little more tight at the cuff and creates this little bubble effect on the sleeves which is so cute but I went ahead and just tucked in this shirt and added this cardigan on over it it is so comfy and warm of course it does have these openings so it's not going to be the warmest in the winter if you're wearing like a tank top with it but I feel like you could layer thermals underneath this you could wear a long sleeve whatever you want to do with it I feel like this is a versatile piece it does come down here um, just past the butt in the back so you could wear this one with leggings if you had a long shirt or whatever I do feel like this is just a really cute outfit though for like office wear or work wear if you're able to wear something more casual so yeah this sweater is so soft and nice I do believe this one came in a gray and a pink as well but I just thought the like oatmeal beige color would match with the most of the things in my wardrobe and you could pair this with a ton of stuff so yeah that is the sweater all right up next we have this top it is this little thermal um orange I don't know what kind of color it is it's like orange coral but very toned down and fall like for sure this reminds me a lot of something that free people would sell with the thermal and just how cute and worn in and distressed not really distressed but you know that worn in look um, with like that heathered type of look to the fabric I love this it has the little v-neck cut that's like undone which I also think is really cute and it has this little peplum top so I got this one in a size extra large I also got this one in the cream color in large just to see how they would fit and I have to say although this one fits me well I would definitely want to stick with the large and this one it does run pretty oversized as you can see it comes down pretty far in the back so it does cover the booty you could wear this one with leggings um, but yeah this one is just a really cute simple top that you could pair with like a vest you could wear a cardigan over this one I just went ahead and kept those little peep toe um, heels on because I thought it was cute with this 
But yeah, that's this one, just a simple little top, but it's still really cute. All right, I went ahead and just tucked my hair down. I couldn't take it up in a ponytail anymore, but this is the actually white version. I thought it was cream, but it is definitely more white, and I got this one in a large, so as you can see, it just fits me better. I feel like it's not so oversized and baggy, and it just gives me more shape. It just makes me look better. It makes me feel better. As you can tell with the white, it is just the slightest bit sheer, so you'd want to wear like a bralette or a cami, or you don't have to. I'm wearing a nude bra. I just don't like how you can totally see the outline of my bra. So I definitely wear like a cami or bralette underneath, whatever you wanna do. Um, but yeah, that is the same shirt here, just in a large. So since it is in a large, it doesn't cover my butt as much because it is just slightly smaller. Now what I missed on the other one as well was that the um, hem on the bottom of this little peplum is undone. Um, that's just the look of the shirt as you can see. I don't know if you guys can see that too much, but the hem is undone. So we do have a little, a few little strings here floating, but that's okay. You can obviously just cut those off. And I really like how the undone hem looks on all of these. So I thought this was really cute and yeah, I like this one better than the orange one for sure. This is the next top here. It is from the No Boundaries line. It is this button up tie front top. You guys know these are my favorite kind of tops right now. And it is in this like ribbed material or it has this ribbed pattern on it and it's like a rust orange color, which I, again, I think is perfect for fall. You guys, if you could freaking feel through the camera how soft and cozy this is, it is more of a like sweater fleecy material. It's very soft, very cozy, literally feels like a blanket. And I thought this was so cute with this color. They also have it in black and they have it in white or cream as well. So I thought this one was fun and cute since I already had another white top. I thought I'd pick up this one. It is from the No Boundaries line again. So that's their junior line. And I did have to size up to a 2XL for this one and it fits perfectly. I love how it fits on me. It's the perfect amount of like form fitting, but still like loose here. So I don't feel like I have to suck in all day. That's just me and my preference. I don't know, but it doesn't cover the booty at all or anything like that. It just sits like a normal shirt. And again, these are functional buttons and this is a functional tie, so you could do what you want with that. You could of course do a little front tuck instead of tying it. You could pair this one as well with a little cardigan vest the whole nine, you guys already know, these are all pretty similar in ways that you can style them. But again, just kept them on with these little booties. And yeah, I think this one is really cute as well. So next up we have this top here. It is a plaid shirt. I don't wanna say it's flannel because it's not flannel material. It is just like a normal, you know, button up material, pretty thin and not thick at all, but you definitely layer it up for those colder days. But I just thought this color and pattern was so cute. Definitely different from like your traditional like black and white plaid or stuff like that. I just thought this was cute. So I picked this one up in a extra large and this one is from the Time and True brand. Um, I thought this one was really cute, like I said, because these colors were just slightly different. This is what the back looks like. It does cover your booty, so you could wear this one with leggings as well. Now, something that I would do with this one, instead of wearing it buttoned up this much, I would unbutton it and have like a bralette peeking through. I feel like that would be really cute. So, what you guys didn't see I was wearing were these shoes. These are the cutest little black flats. They are, can you see? They're kind of like that loafer style. They're really, really cute. They are like a suede material. So I would say these are gonna get, you know, if you have cats or dogs, you're gonna get cat hair all over them. They have this in a leopard pair as well as, I wanna say like a hound's tooth print. And I think that was it. If they had nude, I would have picked it up, but I don't think they had any nude. I believe it was like pink too, maybe. I don't know. But I already have a leopard pair of flats, so I wanted to get black since it would just be basic. I'm definitely gonna need these more now that it's gonna be cold. I can't wear sandals all the time. Um, but these, again, are in wide width, as you can see, and they do have that memory foam, so they are extremely comfortable. Again, I got these in a size 10, and with some little socks, I feel like they're gonna fit perfectly. They are just the slightest bit wide, even on me. And again, I have huge feet, so and for them to even just be the slightest bit wide on me just lets you know just how wide width they are. Okay, so how cute would this be together with these little black flats too? Also, hold, let me get this hat. <laughs> my husband calls this my witch hat, but you know what? I don't care. I'm gonna be witchy all fall long while I can be. <laughs> it is so cute, but I thought this would match the black little flats and bring this little outfit together but if you're going to work or something i feel like this would be cute just the cardigan and the flannel you can tuck it in do whatever you want i just thought this was a cute way to pair it as well and layer up so you're definitely more warm for those colder days 
All right, so we all know I couldn't go a haul without bringing in something leopard print. So this is this leopard print thermal top. I got this one in a size extra large. <laughs> why I said her there and it was $8.88. They have this in a ton of colors but I thought the leopard print was the cutest for sure. Of course it's leopard print and this one is just like a typical thermal top. It does have like normal sleeves on here and then this is what the leopard print looks like on the thermal and these are functional buttons so you could unbutton them if you want. With this one I would say it's like a semi-fitted fit. I think that's what even it says here. Yeah it's a long sleeve semi-fitted thermal so it is going to be slightly fit to you. Um, for me, I feel like I should have sized up to an XXL, not just an extra large, because I do like my things to be just a little bit more loose here in the stomach area. So you could do, of course, again, the little front tuck. You could leave it undone. Definitely, if you want coverage in the back, you will want to size up a bit. I would say even two sizes up if you want coverage in the back, because this does not cover anything. It's just, like I said, a normal thermal. So this one's really cute. This one is like a staple, I feel, for you to get in like all the different colors. So that's what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna return this one, size up, and get quite a few different colors to just have these staple ones. And if they still have leopard, I will likely be getting leopard too. But yeah, just a basic thermal, which I think will be really cute to layer with a bunch of stuff, which I'm gonna show you right now. All right, so like I was saying, this thermal is really great for layering. And I wanted to show you guys this jacket that I layered it with. It is this really cute moto style jacket. And I got this one in the black color. I do believe they had more of like a cognac color, which I thought was really cute, but I thought black would go with everything. So I went ahead and picked it up in black and I got this one in a size large. And this one was $24.68. So like I said, all the pieces that I got today are under $30. This is the only one that's over $20, I wanna say. It's freaking awesome. But this is a really cute moto jacket. Like I said, I got an extra, or no, I got it in a large and I wish I would've got it in an extra large. So I think I'm gonna go exchange it just because I do feel like this is going to be a great jacket for the season. It does have this like stretchy material here on the inside of the arms here and then on the um, side paneling as well. So you get a little more stretch in here, but as well, this material of the jacket is kind of like a cloth material. It's just really stretchy. It's not like suede, it's not leather, nothing like that. It's very stretchy, very comfortable, and pretty warm, especially if you're gonna be layering. Now, like I said, this large is just slightly too snug to layer. Like I have this thin thermal on, it's really not thick at all, and it's already pretty tight here. So that's why I do wanna size up so I can you know, layer it with a sweater or anything like that for when it gets colder. It does have these like zipper details right here on the side for the pockets, and they are functional, which is nice, because I always like putting my hands in my pockets, and then this whole zipper detail as well to zip up the jacket is functional. So if you wanted to zip it up, I literally never zip up my jacket. I just personally don't like to zip up my jackets because I like to see what's underneath. Maybe my mind will change as I'm living in the snow, but we shall see. But yeah, it zips up pretty cute with these little, you know, panels here. What are those called? Lapels. I think I could be completely wrong. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but this is really cute. It is more of a cropped, yeah, definitely more of a cropped fit but it's so stretchy, so comfortable. And like I said, this one, as long as you get your normal size or even one size up, it'll be great for layering. And it's just really cute and really stylish. So yeah, that is this little moto jacket. So up next is this really cute top. Again, it's this really like soft. Actually, it's the same, is this the same exact shirt? I really do think it is. This is the same exact top as that, no boundaries, button front, um, tie front or button up tie front top just without the button detail because it's that same really soft comfortable material this feels like a blanket once again but it is in a camo print and again has the front tie detail which i think is so cute for this one i think i sized up two so yeah i got this one in xxxl so a 3xl which is like a 21 for them again the no boundaries line is a juniors line so you're normally going to size up for them because they do run smaller um but yeah this one is real cute real comfortable it's going to be warm especially with like a cardigan or jacket layered over it it is that subtle like grayish kind of camo print which i think is really cute this one doesn't offer you like any booty coverage as well. I think this one just fits me really nice and I love this one. I also paired this one with a separate pair of jeans from No Boundaries. These, <laughs> these I got in a size 17, which I think that equates to a 16 normally. 
I think if I got these in a size 19, they probably would have fit. I don't even think they carry that in the No Boundaries line. But again, they are a junior's sized brand. Um, these were $7.78, under $8 for freaking jeans. And they have this really cute button fly detail. They actually are pretty, I mean, they got a good amount of stretch in them. They're not totally stretchy like the other sculpted jeggings that I tried on from Time and True, but these ones have a good amount of stretch in them. They're just not my size. They're not comfortable. It was a freaking pain to get these on, so yeah, but if you can't fit into them, freaking $8 for jeans, and they have them in like every color, so I'll leave you with that information. So this next top is so freaking cute. I got it for $11. It was on sale and I got in a size large. I had actually gotten this one in an extra large before. It was way too big. So definitely size down in this one. And I do have big arms. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that. I carry a lot of weight in my arms and this still is just like the slightest bit loose. So I would definitely say size down in this one, but it is again, one of my favorite colors for fall. This like really pretty teal emerald green color. And it is this little like, this is called a peasant top where it's kind of flowy here like that, but um, it has this little ruffle detail here along the neckline. I just gotta iron this out so it's a little straight, but really cute. And it has this like subtle striped pattern on it, which I think is adorable. And it has like stitching right here on the sleeve. And then again, we have a little bit of bubble sleeves going on. These are slightly big on me, as you can tell. So I do have to just constantly keep like the band, and this isn't like elastic, it is a button, so it's not like you can tighten it or anything like that. Um, but I just kind of have to make sure that the band stays at my wrist. Because if I put my hands down, <laughs> we're going to have a problem. But I thought this one was really cute, really good for work. Again, one that you could wear with jeans or even with dress pants. And it does cover a bit of the booty, not too much. But it is really cute. I wouldn't probably wear this one with leggings just because it does not cover enough up here for me. But again, it's personal choice. I just thought this one was so cute. And again, versatile. You could wear to work. You could wear out, wear casual, whatever you want to do. And then next, I found some knee-high boots, you guys. These are the knee-high boots that I got. These are, or were, $19.98, under $20, you guys. That is insane. So I got these in a size 11. I sized up so I could wear them with socks, could layer with jeans, anything like that. I didn't want them to be so, so tight on me, so I thought sizing up would help, which it did. However, these do not stay up completely. Let me just show you guys. This is where I would want them, but after walking a little bit, you know, back and forth, whatever, whatever, walking throughout the day, they go down a little bit just to like the you know, top of your knee or whatever. And it does have the tie in the back. So I don't know if it's just these boots, if it's having big legs, what it is that I just can't get them to stay up completely. I don't know. I'm contemplating if I should return these or keep these. You guys let me know down below, please, if you have any suggestions for over the knee boots or if you have any tips on how to make them stay. I really want some freaking over the knee boots and these were so cute. Also, they are not heeled, they are flat. So I thought they'd be comfortable. I'd get a lot of wear out of them. I could wear them more often than heeled ones. And then they are just like that suede material. Okay, up next is this sweater. So soft and cozy. Again, I feel like you guys should be able to feel it through the camera because this is so freaking soft. This one is from the Time and True brand and I got this in an extra large. This was $11.44. I'm gonna go pick this up in the other colors. I wanted to pick it up in this like neutral one because I felt like this would go with a ton. And I feel like this one you guys would like the most to wear at work or if you could wear it casually, stuff like that. But they have a bunch of other cute patterns. They have like a blue patterned one, one with like purple and blue. I felt that was really cute. And they also just have this in plain black, which I definitely need. This sweater is so cute and cozy. It just has like a normal crew neck neckline. And it is that color block pattern which is really trendy right now and this one is just like a normal sweater length it doesn't come down past the butt or anything like that but it is just so cozy and cute what did I say again oh yeah an extra large so I would say get your true size if you do want it to be a bit oversized it isn't like completely form-fitting the sleeves are a little long on me I would definitely roll them up Anyways, you could roll up the sleeves, you could do a little front tuck, you could tuck this in completely, whatever you wanna do there, and layer it again with a cardigan, jacket, all that good stuff. I went ahead and just kept on those knee-high boots here, and yeah, I thought this one was really cute, really cozy, and so freaking affordable for a good sweater. It is so soft, I'm telling you guys, it is as soft as a blanket. So, 
last but not least I have one lone dress I did not get any other dresses just because I don't know do I wear dresses in the winter when it's this cold or fall when it gets freaking cold I don't know we shall see I couldn't find any that were cute enough but I thought this one was a good basic so it is this just little jersey swing style dress this one I got in an extra large from time and true and it was $12.96 they had this one in a bunch of colors as well this one does hit me right where does it go like right mid knee where it covers my knees just a bit um so it's just slightly long on me so i would definitely say size down because i do have a lot of room here it's really stretchy really comfortable definitely good for work to wear with like a cardigan or a blazer even you could wear over this one with some heels it does have pockets so that's nice and it's just so stretchy so flowy it does have three quarter length sleeves so if you wanted you could either bring them up roll them up do whatever you want with them but yeah this is just a good basic that i thought would be good to include oh my gosh you guys i literally already threw on my pajama pants because i thought i was done but i forgot about this little sweater coat indoor coat whatever it is it is like the teddy very soft no sherpa material that's what it's like it's like a sherpa material and it's so nice it's from the brand secret treasures i got a size extra large this is like a sleepwear brand i don't freaking care i'm gonna be wearing this all over the house all outside when it's freaking cold it is so warm and cozy and just so oh my god I can just already see it where it's like so cold in the morning I have my little socks on I got my hot coffee and this is just going to be so perfect to cozy up in and just be inside when it's so cold or even dress this up and wear it out with some jeans some cute boots you already know this one was like what $12.97 and they have so many colors in this one I just again decided to get the cream because I felt like it would go with a lot whether you're inside or out I thought this was cute but I guess it's appropriate because I have my little PJ pants on so this one again I can't believe I almost forgot it you need this it's so soft all right guys so that is it for today's video thank you so much for joining in and watching I really hope you guys enjoyed let me know down below which piece you liked the best and if you're going to be picking up any of these pieces as always everything that I talked about is linked down below in the description box so don't forget to check that out and yeah I of course had so much fun filming this as I do with all my fashion videos and like I said I think I found a lot of good pieces so I really hope you guys enjoyed let me know down below as well what other videos you want to see from me if you want to see more beauty videos more vlogs more fashion videos I can tell fashion videos are definitely your guys's favorite so that's what I'm going to keep pumping out but of course I do like filming beauty videos and vlogs as well so I'm going to be putting those in here and there but definitely going to be focusing on fashion so yeah that's just what you guys seem to like so I'm going to film it for you and those are really fun for me as well so Good. just gonna keep doing that but <laughs> anyways I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one bye